There is one more wife of the Prophet Sallallahu who has this unique interaction with the angels, specifically Jibreel alayhi salam, but it has a serious twist to it. It's not the same as Khadija radiallahu anha or as Aisha radiallahu anha. And that is Hafsa bint Umar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with her and her father. Hafsa radiallahu ta'ala anha has a very interesting story and interaction with Jibreel alayhi salam. But before I get there, I actually want to talk about her brother first. And this will give us an understanding of what is going to take place with her. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma was of course a great follower of the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu and was almost identical to Umar bin Khattab radiallahu anhu. And he was very young when he was around the Prophet sallallahu And he said that he wanted to have a dream that he could share with the Prophet sallallahu Why? Because when the Prophet sallallahu would ask people in the mornings to share their good dreams, that was a way of connecting to the Messenger sallallahu alaihi So he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him a dream so that he could share it with the Prophet sallallahu alaihi the next day. Instead, he goes to sleep and he says, I saw this dream of two angels that came to me and they took me to the edge of hellfire. And subhanAllah, it's a terrifying dream because he says, I saw people in there that I recognized. So imagine he's, he's looking at hellfire for enough of a time that he sees people that he knows in the hellfire. And it obviously scares him in the dream. And just as he is looking at it, Another angel comes and says to him, do not be afraid and commands that the angels take him instead to the right because this is not your place. So the dream is scary in that, you know, he saw hellfire and he saw people that he knows in hellfire and he was in front of it for that time. But it's also a good dream in the sense that he was spared from it, right? So it's an interesting dream, but it's not the type of dream that he had in mind to share with the Prophet Sallallahu after Fajr the way that other companions would share their dreams. So instead he goes to Hafsa radiallahu anha, his sister, who's also the wife of the Prophet sallallahu and says to Hafsa radiallahu anha, can you speak to the Prophet sallallahu about this dream? Hafsa approaches the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, shares the dream. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi in his wisdom, knowing that whatever he says is going to get back to Abdullah, he starts off by saying, Ni'ma rajulu Abdullah. What a good young man Abdullah is. What an excellent young man he is. Which is a statement of praise. Right, so that he's put at ease, that he's a good young man. But then he says, لو كان يصلي من الليل. If only he'd pray a little bit more at night. So Abdullah is an excellent young man, but Abdullah should also pray some more at night. He needs to pray Qiyamul Layl. Now you can imagine what the nights of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma looked like after he heard that from the Prophet sallallahu as a very young man. So his life is going to be distinguished by his Qiyamul Layl, as it is in many other ways. Now, what does this have to do with Hafsa radiallahu anha? She's obviously the middle woman in this regard. She's the messenger of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam to her brother to say, look, if you don't want the angels to take you to that place in the hereafter, then you should increase in your Qiyamul Layl, and that will assure you that the angels will instead take you by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the other destination of Al-Jannah. So she was the messenger between the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam and her brother. Now, what makes this so different? Hafsa radiallahu ta'ala anha and the Prophet sallallahu actually separated. Rasulullah sallallahu actually reached a point of divorce with Hafsa radiallahu ta'ala anha. He was not cruel with her. He did not abuse her. He did not harm her. But the Prophet sallallahu had reached the point where he was going to separate from her. And when the Prophet sallallahu reaches that point, how is this in praise of Hafsa radiallahu anha? Of course, we know Umar radiallahu anhu came and, and you know, uh, asked the Prophet sallallahu to reconsider and the Prophet sallallahu was gracious with Umar radiallahu anhu. But the one who came to the Prophet sallallahu to actually convince him was not Umar radiallahu anhu, it was Jibreel alayhi salam. And Jibreel alayhi salam comes to the Prophet sallallahu and says, Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Raja Hafsa, take her back. Now, is he going to say take her back because she is the daughter of your companion? or take her back because of this, that, take her back because of what people will say? No. He says, Ya Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Raja Hafsa, take her back, فَإِنَّهَا صَوَّامَ قَوَّامَ Because she is a woman who fasts a lot and who prays a lot of Qiyam. وَهِيَ زَوْجَتُكَ فِي الْجَنَّةِ 
and I have seen she is your wife in paradise as well. SubhanAllah, Hafsa radiallahu anha has the testimony of Jibreel alayhi salam that you should take this woman back, not because of who she is related to, not because of anything else, but she is sawama qawama. She has distinguished herself in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the testimony of the angels, by the amount of fasting that she does, and by the amount of qiyam that she does. SubhanAllah, and I'll connect that back to Abdullah ibn Umar, right? Who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his wisdom and planning made her the one that would hear the dream of Abdullah and then deliver the message of the Messenger Sallallahu back to him that you should pray more qiyam layl and the angels won't take you to that destination. And now you have the greatest of the angels coming to the Prophet Sallallahu to testify on her behalf that by the way, this is a woman who is distinguished by her qiyam and her siyam. And if you think about what comes after that, and I, I want you to think about the blessings of that. When we go to say salam to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of course the salam reaches him wherever you give it, but when you do ziyarah, when you're in the masjid of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, specifically from the men's side, and you stand in front of the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Abu Bakr and Umar Radiallahu Anhumah, that place that you are standing is actually the house of Hafsa Radiallahu Anha. That is the exact location of where Hafsa radiallahu anha had her home. That is the home that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed and distinguished by having the Qur'an gathered in that home. That's not by accident. The mushaf, the, the papers, the bones, all of the scrolls were gathered in the house of Hafsa radiallahu ta'ala anha. And that was the home that by the testimony of Jibreel alayhi salam, a righteous woman used to fast daily and pray nightly. So it shows you that these ranks are not achieved with Allah or with the angels randomly or because of who you're related to or who you know. These ranks are achieved by the deeds that the Prophet ﷺ taught us to elevate ourselves until the end of times. Alhamdulillah, we are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high-quality produced Islamic reminders, Qur'an learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand, or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you, as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.